Hello everyone, my name is Aleph. Today I will talk about using Stackspot AI for API test automation using Java, Cucumber, and Restashed. Let's go. First, we are going to create the project. Here, we will be using the IntelliJ IDE. The language will be Java with Maven as the dependency manager. Well, with the project created, now we are going to access the Stackspot AI plugin to use the AI Assistant, which will allow us to generate a REST API test automation project, a starting point for us to create automations focused on REST API. So let's get started. Well, once the Stackspot AI plugin is opened and logged in with the GitHub account, we will pass the instruction to the chat and wait. Well, the chat is already suggesting some codes, such as the code for dependencies, which we will put in the pom.xml file. We will also create the feature file, where we will write the scenarios that need to be validated. We will also have the step definitions part, which will establish a connection between the feature and the actual code in Java. We will run the MVN test command in the terminal for the first execution. Let's get started. Once the code is generated, we just need to copy it here using the IDE plugin. Let's properly add our .xml file to the project. Load the dependencies here, loading Maven dependencies, and we will proceed with the other necessary creations. Next, we will create the featuring file, which will have this structure here. Featuring file. Creating the features folder and the feature file. Let's move this package to the testing section and also our resource. I don't need the main folder anymore. I'm going to delete it. Let's copy the generated feature file. Next, we will essentially create the step definitions, which will effectively have the implementation to connect our feature code with our Java code within steps. I don't need this main Java anymore. This one I'm going to change from org to com. Next, we will create our runners. And we will create our test runner, which is an implementation for our execution using Cucumber. Finally, we will proceed to run our MVN test command. Let's look at it. Step definition. Component sample, the necessary dependencies were successfully added. Runners, steps. Okay, so let's quickly run our MVN test through the terminal. Okay, our code raised an error in the process of execution due to the example that was generated. The example that was generated if we look here in the step runners and feature, so here in the feature, we have an example. Once I have a payload, I make a post request to the user route. Then I get a 201 status code in response. Additionally, I also check the user data. 
So in this example here, Stackspot AI provided us with an initial structure for automation. So now we are going to make some modifications so that we can cover other scenarios. So we are going to tweak the structure a little bit here. So let's get started. In features, we will add some methods here so that we can implement post and get tests. Now we are going to create a new user. We are going to query the existing user and we are going to query the non-existing user. We will also make some modifications here in our execution process and in other parts of the code. Let's now create our test runner. Okay, so let's also create our DTO entity. Let's create our service. And we will create our step definition. Let's now add the necessary missing dependencies to our palm file. Okay, so once the initial structure was created using Stackspot AI, now that we evolved this structure a bit further, we can encompass more scenarios. Returning here before, as an example, we had a scenario that only performed a test in a post call. Now here we have a test for post for user creation. We also have a test for querying an existing user and querying a non-existing user. Here we validate the status code 201 for creation, 200 for successful return, existing user, and 400 for user not found. Well, we can now remove this initial structure package here because we will start using this one below, which is an evolution of the initial package generated by Stackspot AI. Let's run the execution now to check the results. Well, as you can see, all of the tests are passing. So if we check here, the very first test, which makes a call to an API post, we get the return status code of 201 when the new user is successfully created. So here we create a fake user, pass the data during creation, and as a result, we have the user created. Test two, we query an already registered user in the database. So we make a get request to the system, pass the user ID, and successfully receive a status code 200 response when the user is found and retrieve the information. And finally, we perform a test, which is actually also a get request, and we actually get a status code 400 since we passed a non-existent user and it returns a status code 400 to us. So that's it. Stackspot AI allowed the initial creation of a REST API automation project with a simple interaction by providing the initial instruction, which brought us what we need for our project's dependency to work, which we add in the pom.xml file. I also brought here an example of a feature file, step definition, which will link our feature file with our Java code.
We also have the test runner, which will execute our feature. And finally, we have the MVN test, which compiles and runs our tests. So here the structure is finalized. We have the dot feature file, which will contain the writing of the test scenarios using GERC, give 1D. We have in Cucumber option, test runner, which will have the necessary configuration to run our dot feature file. In user DTO, we have our variables to work with entities, variables, objects, such as to create the body file and to make the post acquisition, for example. In user service, we have methods to generate data, create a new user, validate an already registered user, check if the user exists, consult the user, validate the user's data, and validate a non-existing, non-registered user. And finally, we have the steps, which will make all the method calls from our service with our features file. So that's it people. Questions or suggestions, comment below. If you like the video, like and share. See you in the next video.